What I have here is the Itar's Workshop Egyptian Tomb Contents. One Egyptian Tomb. They do have a full color uh, sticker applied to the surface and models is supplied fully assembled but unpainted. So here's what you get. Essentially, I believe they took a, a Hearst Arts uh, blocks, the Egyptian blocks, they used the, the hieroglyphics ones, and they made a tomb. They're calling this a tomb. And then they cast it out of resin, uh, or they made a mold rather for it. The smart thing they did is put this piece right here because right now I'm putting all my weight, well, a lot of weight on it, uh, and it holds up well. Not that anyone should be leaning on this in a battle because I bet the, the board or the table would flip, but I like it. Uh, there is some flash on the bottom to clean up. It's very faint. Okay, so I do need to go through and kind of get rid of some of this stuff. It's, I think it's slightly more evident over here. So I'm just going to trim that down a bit. It's, it's not that noticeable. And then there's little air bubbles. And this is just probably you're just going to add to the, the weathered look that I'm going to give this. I'm going to paint this white, then I'm going to paint sandstone over it, and I'm going to try out some kind of shoe polish or floor floor polish uh, method from her starts to paint this the roof I love the texture on this you can see it in the video fully textured uh, it is it is fairly small there's a crocodile games miniature so imaginably it leads uh, to an underground chamber Overall, the effect of this has been pretty good, I think. My my paint job worked. I did go with the white paint, the sandstone, and then used Minwax polyurethane stain, the antique walnut satin finish. And this took to a, a matte coat really nicely and matted uh, fairly quickly. Here you can see the where the stain is pooled at the bottom. Obviously, I'm a little sloppy, but uh, this this really only took like a total of like five minutes. Except where I made a, f a few mistakes in applying the stain. It's not dry full. It's full enough. It's sticky. I set it down on its side, paint the top with the stain, and then in the meantime, when I when I come back, I pull off the paper towel which is stuck to it. And it has removed some paint. So that's that's all a problem with my methodology, not with uh, ITAR's workshop. Yeah, I would buy maybe another one of these, and I'm now interested in some of their other Egyptian products. And, of course, I've made this board, this Egyptian 2x2 board, and I'll probably expand on it to have something to game on.